Uh, Rob, talk about what set up the head kick. I can't even remember, honestly. <laughs> Is that what I heard him with? Yeah. What, what was it? Finish it. That's what finish it was a finish it? Yeah. I don't I just, I just, like when I get in that zone, I just, I'm not even thinking. Um, obviously, the first two minutes was a little sloppy. Um, but once I, like, once I found, found my zone, I just, I don't even think. I'm just reacting and doing my thing. Was anything different uh, out there than you expected from Almeida? No, you know, he's fast. He's, 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 he's durable. You know, you hurt him, he's not going to go anywhere. So I had to, like, once I heard him, I, I knew how to slow him down and, and um, <coughs> you know, and be patient with looking for the finish. But, uh, you know, he's done any, every fight he's ever fought or, like, especially his last one against Rivera, you know, he got hurt and he, he bring it back. So I knew once I hurt him, I couldn't just, just go too crazy on him. What do you think this win says to the division? I'm here, man. Like I said, I got a little, I had a little hiccup with the, the Munoz fight. You know, shout out to Pedro Munoz. Love that guy. But uh, I'm here. I got power. If I touch you, I'm putting you away. You will. Okay. You, you weathered the storm in the first round, came back in the second round. There was a moment in the second round. I lost round. that first round? No, I said you weathered the storm right, in the right. first round. <laughs> came back in the second round. And there was a moment in the second round where you landed a strike and then the place just came alive. Could you hear the crowd and the deck you uh, on? I'm telling you, like, it's so, it's kind of creepy how, like, nothing, you can't hear anything, you can't, you just, you just flow, you just flow. You go in there and you just flow. And like I said, I don't even know what I hit him with. I just knew it just kept hitting him, you know? What were your thoughts when you had him in trouble early in the second round? I, I, you know, I, I don't, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. I'm sorry. I really couldn't tell you. I just knew, like, I just knew he wasn't out. You know, I just knew he wasn't out. I knew he wasn't that hurt. Um, I could feel it. Like, it's almost, like, it's, it's almost like a feel, like the body, like, almost like goes limp. And it wasn't there. So, you know, I wasn't necessarily thinking. I just knew, okay, just be patient. Was there a moment where you were surprised that he wasn't out? I mean, you were laying a pretty big beat. Nah, I saw Mater, man. He's a savage. He's tough. You know, like I said, he has a chin on him. Uh, yeah, nah, I wasn't surprised at all. After the fight, it looked like you were shouting out people in particular, uh, jumping up on the cage. Was that like your family? Can you talk about who you yeah, saw? Yeah, you know, that? I saw, that's my, my mom, uh, beautiful girlfriend, Kathy. Love you. Um, <laughs> her friends, it's just everybody, you know. We just got up there, got my man Cooley with me. You know, just having a blast out there. <gasps> you said one of the most important things heading into this fight that you were going to focus on was keeping your foot on the gas the entire time, staying in yeah. the space the entire yeah. time. Do you feel like you accomplished everything you wanted to? Yeah, definitely. Way exactly as you planned. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I knew I could hurt him. I knew, I knew if I, if I, I was Chris when I was patient, I, I could put him away. Um, like I said, I knew in this fight, I just took my, my foot off the pedal a little bit. I uh, a little mental break, um, and I, I will never do that shit again. Are there specific things you did in training to help you prepare for that? Because I know in a fight, you, you kind of you lose it for a second. You don't honestly, know what's happening. honestly, it was uh, little things like it was more mental. It was like concentrating just for 15 minutes straight. It could be something simple as just the throw my jab on the bag for just 15 minutes straight. Like it's hard. You ever try to do that? Like just just one thing for 15 minutes straight. It's super hard. Sometimes I'm trying to throw the hook, trying to throw. It's just so it was like either the double end bag for 15 or just just being there for 15 minutes and knowing exactly what I want to do and not just trying things out there sometimes. Your only two losses went, were in Brazil. You were undefeated in America. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like want to only fight in this country or? You know, I, 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 deep down I do want to get one back in Brazil, but I, you know, like I was joking around with uh, my coach the other day, you know, Tom Brady struggles in Miami, I struggle in Brazil. It's, 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 it's I don't know, man. Like, and I was, I was doing my thing that first two minutes in that Munoz fight. It's just, it's, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I, don't, I don't know. But uh, the city and the opponent, what's this? What's this night for you in your whole career? Where does it rank? Where does it sit? It's up there. You know, it's up there. It's up there. It's definitely, um, especially with a finish. All my wins are finishes. I'm looking to get in there and finish. And, um, you know, it's definitely up there. We got the, the Patriots playing tomorrow. It's the perfect weekend. I can't complain at all. Prior to your fight, you told me that you were looking to finish just like Tito Trinidad used to do. Did I, did I get a little fuck at all? Well, you got I don't think I did. I don't think I did. <laughs> yeah, nah, you know, it's a shout out to all those guys, man. Um, look up to them a lot. Uh, but uh, I got I, I look it up. I, I, I want to watch it. Pull it up real quick. Yeah. It was the head kick and then several uppercuts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Are you gonna celebrate this big win? <laughs> Next question. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. Huh? Yeah, Next question. question. For real? Yeah. Anybody you're looking in particular at the 125 pound division? I know, honestly, anybody, everybody. Um, I would love to get in there, Aljamain Sterling, but um, it doesn't matter. Are you gonna do anything to celebrate the win tonight? Uh, we're doing everything. Well, we're not. We're doing. It's not. I mean, come on, man. I just won Boston. I'm going everywhere. <laughs>